and today we'll be doing the following problem find the shaded area so as we can see we have a blue shaded triangle that is inscribed in a right angle trapezoid and we would like to find the area of this triangle so we know that the height of our trapezoid is 6 and that its large base measures 18 we also know that the length of segment CD is equal to that of segment AD so from this we can conclude that triangle ACD our blue triangle is in fact an isosceles triangle so to find the area the first piece of information we will look for would be the length of segment AC we will consider this to be the base of triangle ACD now to find the length of segment AC we'll be using the Pythagorean theorem as we have another triangle, triangle ABC, that is a right angle triangle. So if we recall, the Pythagorean theorem states that the sum of the squares of the sides that form the right angle of a right angle triangle is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. Now, and segment AC would be the hypotenuse of triangle ABC. So to find the length of segment ABC, we'll take the square root of 30 of 6 squared plus 18 squared. So that's 360. The square root of 360, we can simplify that to 6 times the square root of 10. So now that we have the length of segment AC, we will now look for, which we consider to be the base of our triangle, we would need to look for the height of our triangle to find the area. We'll take the base times the height divided by 2. So the height, we'll draw a segment here, we'll call this point H. So, and it would intersect our base segment AC at a right angle. So, if we could find the length of segment DH, we will be able to find the area of our triangle. So how can we find the length of segment DH? Well, there are two ways we can approach this. So the first method we will see will be, be using similar triangles uh, later on, we will use another method where we will once again use the Pythagorean theorem to find out the length of segment DH. But first, the similar triangles. So I, now I want to show that triangles ABC and triangles, so that is ABC is this big white triangle, and triangles CHD, that is this triangle here, are similar, meaning they have the same shape but are of different sizes. So to do so, I'll call this angle here alpha, I'll call this here angle beta. And so since triangle ABC is a right angle triangle, from this we can conclude that alpha plus beta is 90 degrees. And since we have a right angle trapezoid here, so this corner right here would be 90 degrees. So that means this angle here, angle HCD, would be beta. As we know, alpha plus beta equals to 90 degrees. This is a right angle here, so this angle here, angle CDH, would be alpha. And now we have concluded that our triangles, triangles ABC and triangles CHD, are similar triangles. So we can set up an equivalent fraction to find the length of segment DH. But to do so, we must first find the length of segment CH. So to find the length of segment CH, recall that triangle ACD is an isosceles triangle. So segment DH not only represents the altitude or height of our triangle, but also the median of our triangle, meaning that it divides segment AC into two equal parts. So since we already know the length of segment AC, which is 6 times the square root of 10. The length of segment CH would be 6 times the square root of 10 divided by 2. So 3 times the square root of 10. So now we can set up our fraction. So here I'll put the base of our small triangle. I'll put the base of our large triangle here. We have the height of our large triangle. And we want to find the height of our smaller triangle, that is segment DH. So as we can see, we divide by 3. 18 divided by 3 is 6, so we just need to divide by 3. And we'll get the square root of 10. And that is the length of segment DH. 
So to find the area, we'll take the base of our triangle. So we consider the base to be segment AC. So that is 6 times the square root of 10 multiplied by the height of our triangle, that is segment DH, that is the square root of 10, all divided by 2. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. 10 times the square root of 10 times the square root of 10, well, that gives 10. 3 times 10 is 30. So the area of our blue triangle is 30 units squared. So this is one method we can use. The other method will be using Pythagoras once again. So what I'll do, I'll draw a line right here. There we go. I'll form another right angle triangle. So we'll call this point E. So now we have this right angle triangle here, triangle AED. And I will put an unknown, a variable X as segment CD, which we know is also equal to the length of segment AD. So now I can use the Pythagorean theorem to find, to find an equation that will solve for x. So we know that the height of this right angle triangle AED is 6, and that is base, so that is the length of segment AE would be, it would be 18 minus x since segment AB is 18. So now I can set up an equation. So the sum of the squares of the sides that form the right angle, that is 6 and 18 minus x, is equal that to the square of the hypotenuse. So that's 36. We got 324 here. Minus 36x plus x squared equals to x squared. Our x squares can cancel. This gives us 360. We can move the 36 x to the other side. And at the end, we'll get x equals to 10. So now that we have x equals to 10, we will once again use the Pythagorean theorem, but this time on triangle CHD to find the length of segment DH. So now we have the hypotenuse to find the length of segment DH. Let's see, we got space here. We will take the square root of the square of the hypotenuse minus the square of the other side that forms the right angle. So in the end, we'll get the square of 10, 100. 3 squared is 9. The square root of 10 squared is 10. So 9 times 10 is 90. And once again, we get for the length of segment DH, the square root of 10. And with that information, we can once again find the area of our triangle. So that was two different methods to find the same piece of information here, the length of segment DH. The first method using similar triangles, the second method using the Pythagorean theorem. And with that, Matthew teach you math. Thank you.